hello everyone in the previous class we have discussed about assembly assembly of open bearing in today's class let's see how to draw disassembly or disassembled view of open bearing from given assembled view let's take a problem this problem was asked in the year 2013 for 28 marks the figure shows the orthographic views of the assembly of an open bearing disassemble the parts and then draw the following views of the following parts to scale 1 is to 1 keeping the same position of both the base and the bush with respect to hp and vp first for base part a front view showing right half in section part b top view so part a is for 8 marks part b 7 marks then second bush a full sectional front view for 4 marks and top view for 3 marks print both titles give six important dimensions also draw the projection symbol give the scale used for 6 marks now in the problem figure open bearing assembled view is given to us and we have to draw its disassembly different dimensions of this assembly are 168 length of the base full length then crs 120 center to center distance for bolt holes then height of the base 18 next 3 what is 3 3 is the distance of inclined vertical height so the inclination we don't know about the inclination but the distance is 3 then we have 70 on the upper part central part 36 r14 r22 and two holes of size 20 cross 12 for center the height is 24 and after center remaining part the height or length is 20 now in side view width is 40 and total width is 48 so 48 minus 40 by 2 4 and 4 additional then 8 8 is the distance of cavity rectangular central cavity 8 from the front 8 from the rear and from the front view again the distance is 8 8 on ends and centrally the total distance is 8 so it's a combination of two rectangular cavities cavity height 5 and radius of fillet also 5 so these are different dimensions or standard dimensions or dimensions of the assembly now our task is first to draw the base base or body front view showing right half in section and top view now for construction work first of all we'll start from its base base or body so first of all for body or base draw reference line xy line parallel to bottom base edge of your sheet yes then draw one more reference line or xy line for bush now from this part from this part we'll start so this is the area or space for the front view front view of the bush sorry front view of the body now centrally approximately from its center draw vertical axis for both front view and top view right so this is the center line or midpoint for the front view now from this point from this point total distance total distance is 168 so mark extreme ends of the base from the center half of 168 from the center half of 168 right then the height is 18 so draw vertical lines for 18 mm 18 mm and draw line parallel to xy initially then in this problem we know that extreme ends are not vertical so from this point after 3 similarly from the last corner after 3 like this now next is 
from the point from this point mark center center of the bush or center of the cylindrical part of the body and the height is 18 plus 24 so from this point 18 plus 24 or from this point 24 so mark center 24 from this point so this is the center now again from the center draw center line parallel to reference line like this now from this center we have to draw the part or portion of the body only in the given view assembled view assembled view means both bush and bearing is given to us so we have to check that what are the dimensions of the body so for body central part with radius total dia is 36 end to end 36 so the radius is half of 36 half of 36 means 18 so from this point 18 on the left side 18 on the right side and then draw a semicircle this is center 18 as radius next the height is 20 so 20 up and 20 up right then the total length is 70 so from these two points this is 36 so from this point horizontal line from this point again horizontal line and total distance is 70 so half of 70 35 or from this point the distance is 35 and this is 18 so 35 minus 18 17 so mark 17 mark 17 and draw vertical line up to the base draw vertical line up to the base next mark rectangular cavity so from this end 8 from this end total is 8 so half of 8 4 half of 8 4 again from this corner 8 and the height is 5 so 5 up line parallel to xy 5 up line parallel to xy 5 up line parallel to xy and 5 up okay so i'll change it because i don't think this part is symmetric so yes now it's acceptable next bolt hole so for bolt hole total distance crc or ctc center to center distance is 120 so from this point 60 from this point 60 so draw axis axis of the bolt hole like this and the size is also given to us size is two holes 20 cross 12 so from the front 20 20 means half of 20 so half of 20 10 half of 20 10 from this point half of 20 10 and half of 20 10 right now structure of the body is ready and we have to draw its right half in section so for right half in section okay one more thing for this corner fillet radius is 5 so 5 5 this is the center and for this corner also radius is not given to us but we can use r5 also now using dark pencil starting from this corner draw dark visible outlines or edges of the body okay so for this part fillet radius r5 then straight vertical up to this point straight or horizontal up to this point then again fillet radius r5 slant straight base and leg cavity like this 
and pull tool this we have to show and for the left part again r5 r5 this is the center for this corner r5 and r5 5 and 5 okay so this point is center this much r5 is radius fill it again this point is center this much 5 is radius and then show visible parts or outlines of the left part of the body and in the sectional views we don't have to show hidden lines so we are not going to show these part because these are hidden lines now in the front view h right part this is the part and for hatching line please use light pencil and maintain constant gap between hatching lines and angle is 45 so at 45 draw hatching lines okay now for the top view draw lines from each and every corner perpendicular to xy perpendicular to xy right then draw center line for its top view parallel to xy line So now we have each and every limit from the front view for the top view. Now the width from the side view, the width of the base is 40. So for this part, the width is 40. So from the center, half of 40, 20, half of 40, 20. So from this point, half of 40, 40, 20, half of 40, 20. then we know that upper part will dominate so we'll start from this part so from the cylindrical part from the cylindrical part these two corners are visible so line generated by these two corners are visible lines then these are ends then we'll focus on these two parts so for this corner these are limits again for this corner these are limits or visible edges and for this part so this is the upper part of the base with inclination so both upper and lower these parts are visible edges of the base now in the body width is constant throughout so width is constant and we don't have to worry about the hidden edges okay then last rectangular cavity now for rectangular cavity these are limits after 8 after 8 
and okay this is missing so for rectangular cavity we know that it's a combination of two rectangular cavities 8 4 4 8 and from the side view again the distance is 8 so from this corner from the rearmost edge 8 from the front edge 8 and this is the limit after 8 draw hidden lines for rectangular cavity right similarly from this corner or from this edge 8 and 8 8 and 8 dark and hidden like this and then bolt hole size is 20 cross 12 so 20 minus 12 is 8 8 by 2 is 4 so from the center from the center 4 and 4 so mark centers of semicircular part at a distance of 4 from the center 4 from the center now from this point this is center and 20 minus 12 so 12 by 2 6 is the radius so from this point 6 has radius in this point as center semicircle semicircle similarly from this point 6 has radius and then straight straight again we have to repeat the process from this point 4 from the same point 4 these are centers then from this point this is center 6 has radius semicircle semicircle again from the center 6 has radius semicircle semicircle and remaining part straight then we have to draw cutting plane in the top view right half in section so from this corner draw cutting plane and it's a combination of thick and thin chain line so use medium dark and dark pencil for section line right next for bush keeping same position of body and bush means we have to maintain same height or in the axis of the body will start push so from the axis of the body means from the same height now this is the area or region for its uh, front view front view of the bush and below its front view below xy line will draw its top view so from the assembled view it is clear that from the front from the front the dimensions of bush are internal radius r14 external radius r22 and for middle portion total is 36 so r18 now from this point from this point again we'll draw one more center line and then from this point first radius of r14 means we'll mark 14 and 14 in both the directions and then semicircle for inner part or inner curved part of the bush then second radius second radius is uh, half of 36 18 so 18 18 so from this point 18 and 18 draw another semicircle 
and for third and for third circle or semicircle radius r22 so again from this point r22 radius 22 right then height height is equals to 20 so extend them parallelly parallel to this axis 20 up 20 up right like this and this we have to extend vertically right for bush we have to draw its front view full in section so we can use dark pencil now for internal part then semicircular part for external so these are visible outlines of the bush and central part this part is hidden from the front this part is hidden but after sectioning after sectioning full sectional view means fully we have to cut so after sectioning this is also dark visible in the portion of the bush after sectioning which we have to show is to be hatched so this is the part which we have to hatch so draw hatching lines for the section portion of the bush and then project limits of the bush for its top view again extend them if needed and draw the center line center line for its top view right now from the top from the top it is similar to i section or alphabet i so again we can draw one more center line So from this point, from this point, this is 40 and for bush total is 48. So 48 and 48, sorry, half of 48 and half of 48. So directly using dark pencil from this point, half of 48, that is 24. Okay, it's better to mark limits of the bearing sorry limits of the body of the bearing okay so this is 40 and from this point additional 4 additional 4 up to the last end up to the last end from this point again up to the last end up to the last end then back back the middle part and then this is visible this is visible and this line is visible throughout for the representation of inner part of the bush so this is the inner part and this is the middle part or central part and this is the extreme edge or face of the bush right 
now front view full in section means in the top view again we have to show its section so full in section full in section like this and this part is hidden so dark and hidden after construction work do dimensioning so dimensioning of different parts of the body and bush total and then for CRC this is three then the height Okay, then write headings of the drawing. Front view, right half in section, top view for body. then write scale used and symbol symbol of first angle projection method then last heading overall heading open bearing disassembled view or disassembly
and last missing element missing dimension 40 so this is all from my side in this problem please draw this problem in your sheet starting from its front view front view of the body right half in section then it stop view then for bush front view full in section stop view do all dimensioning if possible and do all naming front view right half in section top view for body front view full in section and top view for bush then scale then symbol and overall heading open bearing disassembly or disassemble view of open bearing or open bearing details so this is all from my side if you have any doubt any problem in any of the topic of engineering graphics class 11th or 12th or engineering graphics of university scheme please write your comments in the comment box thank you